Hey guys, I found a new scalping indicator and I'm really hyped about it. I think I can get a lot of profit with this one. But first, let me backtest it 100 times. But um, let me first explain it to you what we are going to use. As first, uh, we are going to add the Tootsie. That's a turtle trade channel indicator by Kivan. It is around 9000 uh, likes, so that's uh, really good. Let's add this one. And what we want to do is uh, get rid of a lot of these uh, signals because it's, I don't know, it's, it's for me, it's too much on the screen right now. So I'm gonna decrease a lot. Let's turn this off, trend line off, exit line off, uh, long entry circle off, short entry circle off, long exit off, 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 off. Let's get turn off the backgrounds as well. So what we only want to see is these long and short entries. That's what we are interested in. And what we also want to add, as you would probably guess, is the moving average. And that's only it. That's really easy. Let's change the length of the image to 200 to get the uh, trend. We only go short underneath it and we only go long above it. Okay, really easy. So, when do we enter? Um, let's skip a bit forward. We have a long entry signal right here. What do we want to do? Place a long position on the next candle right here. And for this strategy, I was backtesting uh, it a little bit. And what, what I want to do is a 0.4% always as a stop loss and a 0.6% as a win, uh, as my target point. So the risk reward is going to be 1.5. This one would have hit. Let's do a few. Short, we can't take that one. Long, okay. What we want to take, this one, 0.4. And profit, 0.6. Is this really a thing? Is it not hitting? In my opinion, it did hit, but okay. Still, we would have made the profit right here. And here one as well, long entry, enter here, 0.6%. It will also be a valid trade. 0 0.4, 0 0.6. I'm really curious on how this one would work out. I really am. So let's look for a few short positions. Uh, let me go back in time a bit. So some short examples here. I see three of them. Of course, not everything is gonna be a valid <laughs> entry, but if you have a higher percentage than 50, then I would be satisfied. So short entry right here, 0.6%. This one would have hit. Next one. After this one, 0.6%, this one would have hit. This one, this one would have hit. 0.6, this one, this one would have hit. This one. Let's see if it's, look, this one would have stopped you out because you have uh, a small margin on the stop loss, but that's fine. And this is the uh, uh, first one. One, two, three. You already took four trades and you should stop. Then it's going to be tougher. You can also add the EMA 50. Oh, EMA. And you can uh, say like, okay, when there's a death cross right here, then I go only short. So this one, you would not have taken it. This one, you would 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 have taken it. Um, so this one stopped you out. Then you took already four trades. Stop after that, please stop. Then wait for the next uh, big crossover. We had no long entry here. After we went short again, just wait it out. Just wait it out. 
across over here, that's where you sh start looking for new long positions. Long position here. I don't know if this one would have hit. No, this one would not. So two trades after that, you go back instantly with a death cross and then you look again for short entries and uh, keep on going like that. That's how, how I would trade. So with my back testing, I would also look for that. I would not take um, more than four trades in one zone. Otherwise, um, there's also always consolidation going on right here. These are all tough and false signals. What you can also do is add the ADX, one of my favorite indicators, add a line on the 20 and only go short when it is above the 20 line. This one is on the cross, this one is underneath, so don't take this one. This one was underneath as well, underneath as well, underneath as well. This one was really above it, above it, above it. And that's why I would have, uh, I would have taken these trades. So that's a bit personal what you want to do. Do you only want to take four trades or do you only check the ADX? Um, let me think what I'm going to do for this strategy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the ADX. I remove the EMA 50. I only go short when the ADX is above the 20. And when it's hugging the line, like when it's on the edge, I would st should probably still take it, but it's a bit depending on how I see the market right then. So right here, there's a big, even I had his shoulders right here. That's funny. Right here is underneath, underneath, underneath. So the ADX helped me to get rid of all these false signals. That's pretty good. If you ask me, this one went underneath. I don't know if this one stopped out, but you get the idea. I'm going to take 100 trades like this and I'll come back to you with the results. So I have done 100 back tests with the Tutsi EMA ADX. Um, these are the results. I'm pretty satisfied with it. 
especially because it only took me one month to get 100 trades around one month it was not even a month it was like 27 days or something um, with a risk reward of also 1.5 but a static percentage so it was always a 0.4% uh, stop loss and 0.6% target profit so that's a bit different about the rest um, I think for scalping this might be even a better solution because you don't have to use as much leverage always um, the winning streak was 5, losing streak was 5 and the win percentage was 51% with a gain of 25.5% and I'm really happy with that I prefer this one above the number one who had a little bit more gain but it took me 1.5 months so in one month you can get more profit with this one and yeah that's uh, my conclusion about the strategy uh, back test it for yourself I, I really like it um, it's so easy to use and you can also um, do it without the ADX without the EMA back test it for yourself I also will keep testing it but I just saw this one and I just wanted to show you guys